Okay, I'm back. You guys ready to finish Parasite Eve? Which decided not to, you know, play the opening. Maybe because it's on disc too. Ooh. Oh, where is our last save? Is it down here? It is 647. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I've just finished talking to everybody here. Or I just got here. Can't remember the very last thing that happened. Yeah, game shovelers are fun. And I was telling uh, people, because I can't, I, when the, ever I made announcements about it, I was just like, yeah, Cinder and me are going to fight each other. It's like, no, we're just going to hang out and play games together because that's fun. Believe it or not, I actually just enjoy chilling with, uh, with Cinder a lot. The sewers were probably involved. Those sewer levels. That I that sewer level was oof. Game shuffler randomizer when. <laughs> uh that could be for the next time that we do it. I think that would be appropriate. I think I have to go to the museum now. Maybe. I did see that there was a warehouse. So if that doesn't work, we can go to the warehouse. Whoa, I phased through the door. Yeah, someone turned into a house. Who's that? Who's there? I bust out the gun. She's ready. Where their house? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? What happened over here? It's broken. My inventory is full. Shit, I forgot to put stuff away. Oh, damn it. Or medicine three. I guess that's fine. I just didn't store this stuff. Whoops. I, 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 I didn't go to the NYPD to clear the inventory. It was to progress the plot. But hey, it's fine. We can just use all that stuff here instead. Oh. It's Dino Crisis, guys. You guys told me that this game wasn't going to have a sequel. But it's Dino Crisis. In the flesh. Holy shit, the thing took a lot of bullets. I know there's an ad break, but I mean, we're in a... Just a random encounter, so... I don't think we're missing much. Plus, this should end by the time that the uh, ad break's over. What you doing there, Mr. Dinosaur? Dino Crisis 1 came out in July of 99, so a year and a few months after this. So this was the prototype for Dino Crisis. Holy shit. This game really was cutting edge. How the hell did those dinosaurs get here? Well, Aya, uh, there's only one possible reason. The dinosaurs had finally had enough of just being on exhibit. They have risen up to take control. And that's why the dinosaurs are here now. That's the only reasoning that I could come up with. Is that a pistol? G22. G22 has a base damage of 49. 
The G3A3 has a base damage of 43. Higher range though. And the meteor decided several million years later. Now fam, I'm out of here. But I was just like, mm, I'm good, dude. Uh, I think I'm going to transfer guns though. Yeah, let's transfer guns. We'll use the, the G22. Higher damage. For some reason, I think raw stats just pay off more. I'd like my bonuses back, please. Thank you. Thank you. I know it has less slots, but that's fine. Thank you, Shadadi. It's a good five year stream anniversary. Hanging out with all you guys. What's in here? Oh, yeah. Here, something. I don't really care. Is the door locked? It's locked. We have to find the way to get in then. Come on, guys. We got to find a key. So what would you say when it comes to like a horror aspect of this game? Would it be just its content? I know it tries to be like survival horror-ish, but it's kind of difficult when I have 579 bullets. I mean, it's very horror in the, the sense of, look at the things I'm fighting. This is very unnerving. Plus the cutscenes, very unnerving. The atmosphere is horror, the gameplay maybe not so much. The, the gameplay is more on the side of being an RPG. Like, make no mistake that I think that's what it wanted to be. But I think it went too far into the aspect of being an RPG. Like, I think you could definitely make a horror RPG, right? But one that's also more like, makes you feel very tense with the... the the materials and everything that you have on you. Like I have limited supplies, oh no, uh type of limited is what I mean. It is cool that I have all these spells and stuff. Sweet home on the NES, that game's fucking wild. It's the movie it was based on. I think I remember the movie. Ow ow, Jesus. Bang, bang. Bang. Just you and me now, Dino. Bang. Bang. Bang, bang. Good home is the original Resident Evil. Yeah. Hey, Gaia. So let's all be honest. This music in this game, super good. We'll just take the ammo. I don't really care about taking the junk. Hi, Gaia. How's it going? It was called Shadow Hearts. I need to play Shadow Hearts. As I've said many times, I haven't played that yet. Guys, is that also on the PlayStation or is that PlayStation 2 though? That looks like a body, but it's also just a, you know, a display. That's for in a museum. This edition of We're Back, a dinosaur movie is weird. Just horror RPG, Fear and Hunger. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to play Fear and Hunger on this channel. All right. Good good luck making me play Fear and Hunger on this channel. No. <laughs> That's one of my playing Corpus Party. Mm, maybe. I like I I don't like Fear and Hunger, but I just don't think that you guys would like to watch it. You, you feel me? And I'm not saying it's a bad game to watch either. How many animals are hiding? Dude, I was not paying attention. But I'm going to guess I'm going to guess seven. Can I see that again? Oh, thanks. That's all I get. Ammo. Why I need to convince you to play through both La Mulana games without a guide. What's, what's La Mulana? Please don't touch me. That's for Corpse Party? Uh, I don't know. Is 
So do you go back to full HP after each fight? Nope. But I have healing abilities. Parasite powers have evolved. Medic. Removes all negative status effects. Hey! Plus the game is very, very generous with its supplies. Like an Indiana Jones platformer puzzle game. Oh, cool. Like it's very easy to convince me to play new games. He isn't allowed to play Shadow Hearts unless he played Kudelka first. I mean, I could do that. Also, the music is dope. You got me at dope music and beats and me walking the wrong way, apparently. But this is, I'm not, I'm not saying this game isn't a horror. Definitely not compared to like other games that we've played, but it is, it is horror 100%. I mean, look at it. It's supposed to be surreal and makes you feel unnerved and it has done that. Someone obviously doesn't want me to get through this area. Well, good thing that I've got this thing. What was the nutritional source of the first organism that lived 3.9 billion years ago? Oxygen from the ocean, nitrogen oxides from volcanoes, self-conducted photosynthesis. Oh no, I made it bad. I think I can keep guessing because I don't remember. Thank you. Is he going to fight me? Oh, fighting me. The first organism, Zaros the first. Ah, yes, I am the Alpha and Omega. Or I guess I am the Alpha and Zymega. Or the... I don't know. Meg Meg. Oh. Maybe if I stand right here, he'll just keep doing that attack. He'll just keep missing me. Oh no, he moved! No! Oh. Oh. The heck was that? Where it decided to just vanish. What? I mean, we won, but at what cost? Weird stuff. The cost of some chicken nuggets for the Oni. Hmm, okay. Uh, well, once we finish Super Mario RPG and then Yakuza 3, we can talk about other games for us to play. Those are my go-tos. For horror, we have a whole list of other things we still need to get through, like Fatal Frame 2, System Shock, uh, Resident Evil Zero, uh, Silent Hill 4. I mean, I can do other games at the same time, obviously. But yeah, we've got lots of things to just go through. And having just hit an anniversary, but milestone. Five years, dude. It doesn't show you that I'm just committed to doing this for pretty much as long as I'm still breathing. Because I just love streaming and hanging out with you guys. Oh, so, yeah. And this is honestly why I didn't really want to stream MMOs as much. I mean, I have things in MMOs that I could still do. But when it comes to like doing repetitive content like the same game over and over it's like i have to be extremely invested or think that it's interesting enough for something that i would want to do because there are just so many games that i i, I personally want to play and it doesn't even come down to me knowing that like oh if you just stream one game it's more stable for your content and it's easier to build an audience it's like yeah sure but it's not really about just building an audience it's doing stuff that makes me happy that i think you guys would also like I'd definitely be more happy just playing games like this. Hard games that you guys recommend. Friday is the spice of life. Yes. Have we finished these two games on my massive backlog? We can discuss what to play next. Yeah. Pretty much. And Melange is the spice of Dune. Hey. I love Dune. You love it so much, why don't you marry it? M203 or This is a grenade launcher though, and grenade launchers as we know suck, so we're not gonna use that. Having a default game to fall back to is always good as well though. Oh it is. 
Like Final Fantasy 14 is still my my thing that I can go back to. Even though I barely play it, people still think of me as like a, a predominantly just Final Fantasy streamer. So take that for what you will, even though I want to change that to be variety and horror. Guild Wars 2 streamer now. I mean, I could be. What was that noise? What was that noise? Holy shit. Walk away for two seconds and something breaks. Yo, Darian, thank you for that, that sub, Darian, did you guys take down notes for the, the, the thingy majig? Thank you, Darian. It's been a good five years and I'm, I'm so happy to have met you during this journey. The time from when I started streaming. Honestly, Darian, if it wasn't for your help with my partner application, I probably wouldn't have even gotten it. So thank you. You helped me a ton and it's been wonderful being a part of Team Drifter with you. And if, if, um, it would be okay, mods, if you could, please give Darian a shout out. You guys should be hanging out with Darian, following them. Darian, awesome streamer as well. Especially for Final Fantasy XIV. Lots of fun awaits us. Heck yeah, it does. Oh. This community is the best. I love them. Hard finding people who just want to watch you play, like, variety. I appreciate it a lot. Always. Always, guys. Oh, shit. That's a lot of medicine fours. Let's change out our current medicines. We have a bunch of medicine threes. Yeah, who exactly? <laughs> Pet his horns. <laughs> mm, thank you. <laughs> It was very fun meeting you, by the way. And I attend would do again. The best Which streamer the demo. Here's Ira's smile. <laughs> oh, I needed to talk to Shidati because she said she wanted to touch up those emotes because the, the hair color is a bit off. And then there's some other emotes that she wanted to work on. Or like emotes that we need to also get done. Darian did have orange hair for a while, but now Darian has changed, embraced the power of the blue, like I have. Miss! Bullshit. Oh. What would you guys say these things are, anyway? But what are they? Because they, they're, they're some kind of creature, but what are they? A problem! Guanas, chameleons. I'd say like you know, iguana, probably. I'm the vet tech. Oh, so I should know what the abomination is supposed to be. Uh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, another one. The mitochondria create ATP, adenosine, triphosphate within the cell. How much energy is this equivalent to? Isn't it this? Yeah. I want to add a game to your game list. Where do I go? Oh, you don't have to go anywhere. The, the backlog is something that I have personally, Jack. Uh, if you have a game that you want me to play, just kind of bring it up to me and I'll be like, hey, yo, that sounds fun. We used to have a, a suggestions list, but it kind of got overwhelming for me. Like real fast, because I'm like, uh, uh, uh. But I am down for all like suggestions that people give me. Now this is the game is the AP bio exam. Ah! Bro, I already finished this stuff. I don't want to go back. Don't make me. Holy shit. Well, I mean, that that was a bite. So yeah, that would hurt a lot. It was the point of 87. Also a game theory or a film theory came out about the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And I didn't realize 
because I didn't, I've never read any of the books, so I didn't know any of the book lore. I did not realize how much of the, the books also come through from the movie. And now a lot of the things that I didn't know actually make sense. And I was like, oh, okay. I can't get through here. I'll link you to the Alone Mulana 1 and 2 trailer over on Twitter so you can check both stream. I'm always recommending them to people. Thumbs up. I like that. Yeah, you, you guys can just DM me. I'll check it. Um, since I know who you guys are, it's easier for me to be like, yeah, okay. You can check those games. I had a message earlier. Thanks, Desco, by the way, for contacting one of Tequila's mods over this. But I, um... Again, I, I hate it when I get random messages from people in discords. Um, not from our discord, but from other discords. Like if I check the mutual servers and they don't have one that's linked to mine or they have one and it's another streamer's discord because it normally means it, it's a bot and it just kind of breaks my heart. Do you need another song for the quiz? Perfect. That's another thing I need more of songs for the quiz. Like, it's not annoying for me to hear from people. I love talking to you guys. It's... I just feel bad when I know a, an account was compromised. It, it happens so much now. Like, I don't know... For people who also have to deal with this when it comes to, like, their phone. If you ever have to deal with, like, your number being on a list now so you get phone calls. He was about... It's just frustrating to deal with. And I used to like uh, keep my DMs open so that way rocket. Okay, got a rocket ammo. I used to keep my DMs open so I could like talk to people in case they were in, in need of like someone to talk to and be there for people uh, emotionally. But it, I had to stop doing that simply because of this whole thing with like compromised accounts rocket launcher bang 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 Iowa wins fatality ooh another one See, by taking mitochondria, which uses oxygen as its nutritional source into the body and living with it symbiotically, the bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of energy. What, what was the consequence? Aging, slow cell reproduction rate, cell destruction due to overload. Oh. Aging. No, it ages. That's why we get old. Oh no, true horror. Surprise tests. This wasn't on the final exam. What is this bullshit? This is a natural, like, natural history museum, right? Why, why all the questions about the mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell? Well, obviously we know why. I'm, I'm just kidding. This game loves its mitochondria. Yeah, these things have to be armadillos. Reload! Reload! The truest of horror and ad break. Well, you guys won't miss much if I just stand here. Mitochondria ages your cells. The answer is don't have energy and you can live forever. Oh, so if I just become a couch potato, I'll live forever, huh? All right, chat. I'm beginning my new arc as human potato. Who's joining me in this amazing lifestyle? We're all potatoes. Oh, another one. In 1987, Canon Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from mitochondria Eve. Which organism is thought to be mitochondria Eve? The answer was an African female. 
Is there, after an ad break, if that's all someone heard me say was the answer is an African female. It'd be very weird. Hello, enemies. You heard the streamer. slow I need the entropy so I can turn Zaros into a magical girl oh boy finally gonna happen I'm not gonna get my head bitten off though am I look this is this is important stuff I don't have my cube emote damn it well I mean you could just make smiles just smiley faces that kind of works When's the last time any of you guys have gone to a museum anyway? Last time I went was two years ago. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. When was the first time you've gone to a museum if you even did last month? If you've never been to a museum, that's fine. I'm shaming. First time I was obviously grade school for me, but yeah. The museum in Chicago is not free, but it's nice. And during the winter, there's like nobody there. Free raise revives when HP reaches zero. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I have the ability to revive myself if I die. Give ourselves some more bonus HP here. Bird defense. Yeah, put something away. Uh, put away this cure darkness again. Another revive. One time to get the pre-raise. I guess. Locked. Also locked? It's locked. Hey guys, do you think this dark abyss is going to be locked? I can't go get through there. I, uh... Hmm. It's nice that she wants to preserve the doors and not shoot them open. You know, I was going to tell her that she could, but I'm not her boss. Oh, ha, that just reminded me. Isn't there a game on the PlayStation 2 or something where you'd play it by like talking into a microphone, like you're talking to an agent to tell them what they have to do. It was very difficult to actually get it to work, but that sounds like something that'd be very fun to play. That was a horror game, wasn't it? The boat one? Yeah, 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 the boat one. Hey, you, Pikachu. Not hey, you, Pikachu, but also hey, you, Pikachu. We could totally play that. I think that'd be kind of fun to do. The game just has a terrible time actually hearing what people are saying. Lifeline. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, I should have traded that for one of my old medicines. Speaking of old medicines, let's use them so that way we can make some inventory space for new stuff to pick up. It was something. Yeah, I watched, um, I don't know if anyone else here watches him, Varg Skeletor, his name's, or, or Joel, he's one of the Vine Sauce people. Watched him play it. <laughs> it's pretty freaking funny. He ended up, like, playing his guitar into the microphone because it was not listening to him at all. Uh. Yeah, that. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. No magic. What are you doing? Only I can do magic here. No magic. No capes.
Okay. I'm going to take a guess. Or just a blind guess. If we fight a boss here, it's going to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex, isn't it? Just, oh, that's a wild guess, but I don't know. Yep, that, that was the Hey You Pikachu experience. That was 100% the Hey You Pikachu experience. I own that game. I had the microphone and everything. I think I ended up eventually getting rid of it because the microphone was just so janky and I thought that the game actually drove me crazy. Like, we ended up just, like, getting really mad at Pikachu all the time because he just did not want to listen to instructions. It was so difficult to get that game to work for a kid. Topless Jeff Goldblum with screams at you, life finds a way as he fights. <laughs> just fights you for science? That would actually be better. It was just like, uh, life uh, finds a way. And then he just busts out his fists. Starts to fight me to the death. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. It's not working, but I'm sure it'll start up again if I deactivate the alarm. Maybe that's why she's not breaking down the doors. Hey, someone just locked the door? Bro, wait, what? I didn't even get to look that way, though. Damn it. Well, I missed out on loot, possibly. Um, Aya? There's a box there. There you go. Let's change out that SV protector. Pockets to carry more items. Does have more slots. 38, 35, 30. 38, 35, 30 compared to our current jacket. Which is way worse. Uh, honestly, this SV protector is pretty dope. Okay, uh, now would be a good time to use that super tool. Not like a great time for it, but it'd be a good time for it. Actually, nah. You know what? I'll take it back. We're just going to take the boosts. Use the normal tool. There. Make sure you put the armor back on, though. There we go. That's away. Do I have to jump? You want me to jump? Go through the window. If I slip, I'm a goner. I immediately tried to make her run forward. Let's see. Well, that's a Tyrannosaurus. Looks like I can only get in from there. What should I do? Go down. What a boss. Whew. Made it. Why is Aya so cool? very nice to see a character that's like yo i have a can-do attitude and i can definitely take care of all these problems no problem bang bang i love paste paste is so good dude paste makes waste Let's try going this way first. Locked. Okay. We can only go the other way. Clearly, there's only one option. Um. This room is terrifying. Scorpion's back.
see this door over here locked all right we'll try a different door then try to use that <laughs> I feel like we can't go up here yeah those are the stairs up we can't access that right now so let's just go this way Museum shop. Oh, the shop. What if we can find anything there? Ow. Dang, two crits. We're not taking that junk with us. No junk in this trunk. Not yet. I can't tell if the game has random encounters it, or if it's set up so that way when you go to a certain part of a screen it triggers an encounter maybe it does both but like the first time you get to an area it always has an encounter where it's supposed to be one like it's pre-generated but then you also have spots where enemies can sometimes spawn after you go back to an area you know that's my uh, running theory now when it comes to how this game's encounter rate works. Oh, one shot got away. What's your name? Pillbug, Rolly Poly, something else. Yeah, you guys need to start naming these enemies. Because they keep coming back. What do we name the pterodactyl? Terry? Terry the pterodactyl and then, I don't know, Rupert the Rolly Poly? Lamar, if you find bullets in the gift shop, I am seriously questioning the educational value of the museum offers. I mean, what if they're like antique bu 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 bullets that people can put on display? No, I, I would never do that. Although, Scolaris, you just reminded me of like how in Tomb Raider, Laura Croft goes into a tomb or like a, a temple that no one else has been inside of for years since like it was created she finds like an upgrade for a machine gun like wow so advanced somehow but he's tired of flying he drives a car oh come on lamar drives his car i get it yeah that makes sense Your pistols crit a lot, like a lot, a lot. Just starts wrecking the place, kind of the opposite of what you want to do in archaeology. She's good at what she does. She's a professional. First Tomb Raider reboot made me yell at my TV because there's like three separate times Lars that got the bad guy dead to rights and she just never shoots him. Take the shot. She can't do it. She can't bring herself to do it. Because then people would call her a stinky doo-doo head. Let's see. Where's the alarm? Maybe it's that button right there. Here it is. Then it's been activated. Deactivate. Go into the same school of archaeology. Yep, pretty much. Eve! Oh, wait, what's up with her tummy? Where is she? Oh, right. She's probably because of the sperm bank thing she's probably pregnant that room where is that we gotta find her machine gun I'll take it with me but I won't be happy about it yeah the pregnant and it Saria thank you for that raid how's it going Gregnante yeah how is it going Thank you for stopping by and welcome, everybody. My name is Zyros. I am a Dream Demon VTuber who likes playing a lot of horror games and variety. And MMOs. And whatever my chat really likes recommending to me. Because they're awesome. If it's your first time here, welcome. And how are you doing today? How was your stream, Sari? Your 
She really loves singing, doesn't she? Is that like her calling card? So they're putting a lot of focus on this T-Rex. There's a, a lot of focus on that T-Rex. A whole lot. We're really looking at the T-Rex. I called it. I'm not saying it's predictable, because this is badass. I'm just saying I was I'm happy that it happened. They had they definitely had to. If, how could you not? What would you have me fight then? A caveman? Chekhov's T Rex. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe it. So that's how she controls inanimate objects. And of all the things, she's crazy. How is it roaring? It didn't have lungs yet. I mean, Eve can sing really well, right? Maybe she taught the T-Rex using the cells. <laughs> the T-Rex, what the hell? I'm alive. I'm getting out of this bitch. You can just imagine this with the T-Rex's reaction is like, holy shit. Dude, I can leave? Fuck this, I'm leaving. What the heck did you just hit me with? Pterodactyl? Ow. Harry! The heck was that? Even the T-Rex is not a fan of her opera singing. T-Rexes don't know about Taco Tuesdays and that's the saddest thing about history. Shit! So guys, we gotta teach those T-Rexes about Taco Tuesday. All right, someone, I need you to go to a, your, your museum immediately and teach T-Rex, if you have one there, about Taco Tuesday. This is like national threat level huge. We need to fix this. They need to know. Terrible. Am I able to go up and down the stairs now? I am. Look at that. It's open. Oh, it's also open for me to go down the stairs. Let's go down. Wait, was that one door open before? No, I want to make a game where you feed tacos to dinosaurs to befriend them. Yeah. I feel like there's someone in there. I feel like there wasn't someone in here before. The game is putting emphasis on it. Professor Clamp, don't move. Put your hands in the air where I can see them. Mida? Hi, Aya. Yes, th there was something I really needed to test. Uh, may I put my arms down now? Did you come back here alone? No, because there's an ad break, so we're waiting. As always, we wait for the ad break to end. Although it's kind of funny, she ran in there and said, Professor Clamp, put your hands down. And only realized who, who it was once the camera panned over. Like, her, her vision is limited to what we can see. I know that's what it's supposed to be like for, like, other horror games. But that's for horror game moments. Like, in Resident Evil, when the camera is facing a certain angle, you know? I guess getting dumber as the game goes on, I think. No, but she's still a badass. You don't have to be the smartest person to be a badass. You never forget she did that shimmy and dropped down from one level to another. <laughs> she keeps being surprised by Eve doing things that she's been doing the whole game. Yes. Daniel came with me part of the way. Well, where is he? Uh, yes. He went to look for something at the hospital. He should be on his way here. Oh. There haven't been any combustions recently, so I, uh... Anyway, I asked Wayne to make this back at the station. Please use it. Uh, what is it? Yes, sir. Uh, I'll have to explain later. But I believe this will have some effect against Eve and the creatures she controls. Thank you. I guess I'll have to wait and see what it does. Mida's gun. Damage. What? 
She burst into the room screaming that. Oh, that makes sense. Like, she was running into the room already screaming it. It makes sense, honestly. I just... My canon for it is just trying to be goofy. But that make your, your uh, the answer to that in you makes way more sense. Why does that gun do one damage? Like, no offense, bro, but, uh... I came across some findings. Mm, yes. First of all, there was blood serum with... Maya's name labeled on it in the freezer. My sister's name and... Well, the research code for it is called Eve. Eve? Then Eve really is! It appears to have been made up of liver cells. He was culturing them in the past. What do you mean? What for? I don't know. There isn't any date left. But it seems Dr. Clamp has been culturing them for years. Recently, it appears he was conducting research on artificial sperm. For Eve, of course. For Eve? The, yes, he wanted to exclude the mitochondria from the sperm and create new sperm. Sperm with no parasites. Sperm with only the nucleus. Sperm without the mitochondria. Yes, he took the sperm that he created here and moved it to this hospital. I've said the word sperm more times in the last, like, Five minutes now than I have in months. There, he would artificially inseminate those who would volunteer for the experiment. Then, what was that HLA list for? Professor Clamp! You ordinary beings will never, never comprehend my level of research. Professor, I'm placing you under arrest as the ringleader of this operation. What you did. This isn't something you can get away with. Do you understand? <laughs> you are pathetic, Brea. Why put yourself in the human domain by reciting meaningless laws? They're meaningless. Do you understand? <laughs> I guess you haven't told your little friends yet. Your mitochondria has special powers, doesn't it? I, uh... <laughs> but sadly, you still have the form of a human being, don't you? You could say all you want, but I'm just here to arrest you, Professor Clamp. I'm not letting you interfere with Eve. You hear? Do you understand? Aya, look out! <coughs> oh! Daniel, with the uh, the clothesline, out of nowhere. Oh, I wasn't quite an RKO, but we'll take that. Sorry, I had to grab something. No problem, Sari. How are you? How was your stream? Daniel, thanks. I I didn't see the scalpel. Just in time. Why didn't you shoot? You could have been killed. I know. I, it just didn't seem real. It felt more like... Uh... He's conscious again. Dallas to the rescue, eh? Officer Dallas, why didn't you shoot me? What? I know you hate me. What do you even want to say, huh? Of course I hate you. Because of you, Lorraine's... Lorraine? Hmm. So I see that your boy managed to escape. You! I should have killed you way back. Someday you're going to pay for this. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. What are you planning to do, Professor? <laughs> You'll love this. I'm waiting for the birth of the ultimate being. The mitochondria is passed on from the mother, but you see. Traces from the father can also be found in me minute quantities. According to Eve, her sister in Japan was unable to attain her ultimate goal because the father's side of the mitochondria caused a rebellion. For, this is such a Wesker plot. For Eve to succeed this time, I created sperm without the male mitochondria DNA. The creation was a success. Eve is now pregnant with Melissa's body. Pregnant? How can that be possible? Damn! Aya, we gotta kill Eve. Let's go. <laughs> you humans are so weak. So stupid. You may have been able to barge in here and do this 
uh, do things your way until now. But things are going to change. I won't let you interfere with Eve anymore. Eve, can you hear me? You don't have to wait anymore. I'm ready. What What the hell are you talking about? Daniel, try to run. She's going to blow this whole place up. Ah. So I see your mitochondrial powers doesn't allow you to burn. Why? Why stay here and try to save me? First of all, I'm a cop and it's my job. Stupid. And after all, I am human. <laughs> I said humans are pathetic. Oh, like I said. Sorry, I skipped the like. I have my clamp key. Clamp key acquired. Stinky. You are very stinky, sir. Anyway, I'm gonna leave now. Um, bye. Well, I'm happy he's dead. Can I fire extinguish him? Uh, no. I don't think so, anyway. Man, it was kind of weird, the whole thing going on with the... Well, did I go to the basement? I don't remember. Also, what the heck is going on here with this thing? Like, freaking out. Super hard. Yeah, so about that T-Rex. Yeah, the T-Rex is still just out and about somewhere. Well, let's go down to the first floor. I want to find that T-Rex. Daniel lined it up, mind up, pancaking him. I believe it. Pick rainforest exhibit, by the way. Maybe it's this way, because we tried going this way before and we couldn't, didn't we? That or I'm just backtracking a ton now. But I'm seeing signs for a dinosaur, dude. I feel like I'm going the right way to get to the dinosaur. Come on, class. Let's go see the dinosaur, everyone. Like, even this has a sign that says dinosaur. T-Rex skull was pogging real good, wasn't it? It was like, yeah, I'm alive, yeah. Museums are fun. That's where I stand on that. Oh, do we have been here? Well, we got the clamp key now. With our newfound clamp key, Let's see where we can go with this. And also doing a little bit of backtracking. Do not enter. Why not? What if I want to enter? Use the clamp key. Guys, I use the clamp key. Oh shit. Drawing back here again. Dinosaur. Hog. Thank you, human. Dino DNA. <laughs> combat is imminent. Oh shit. A lot of combat actually. I wonder if it would be worth it for me to just pop the re-raise. But we're here to steal the Declaration of Independence. Alright, let me call Nick Cage really quick. He'd probably be down with that. Be like, hey Nick, I know we're good friends. Could we just, you know, go steal the Declaration of Independence again? Just like old times. He'd be like, yeah, no problem, buddy. Uh, you know, uh, we, we go way back and everything, so... I would totally help you steal the Declaration of Independence. As a longtime friend of the Zaibatsu channel. Dark Souls 2 floor map. Yeah. How's it going, Omega? I'll just take that. Never forget that time that Nicolas Cage actually was on the channel, guys. It happened once.
He was streaming for us. He was playing Tales of Vesperia. That was a much better Nicolas Cage impression than I was expecting. I love the man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love him a lot. I, th I, I, I unironically think he's an awesome dude. He's like my favorite actor. I want to see Nick Cage stream Dead by Daylight while playing as Nick Cage. Apparently his son plays it. It's the whole reason why the character even got in, in the game. But yeah, I, I'm sure he's probably played it at some point now. I still just think that one little tidbit's cool. I'm sure he... It would be cool to see him actually like, stream it though, wouldn't it? That light is definitely flickering like mad. Didn't I go through this door? This is the door that I came through to get in here, isn't it? And this door leads to a room that we can't get out of, I believe. Yeah. And let's head out. That T-Rex is underneath us. It's on the first floor. Why can't I get to it? Why does the game make it hard to get to the T-Rex? I just want to fight the T-Rex, bro. That's all I want in life. Let's suplex this T-Rex. Ow, my knee. I, I'm a uh, big Nicolas Cage fan. I haven't watched every single one of his movies, but that's just because I'm not a huge... I'm not like a massive movie person, but I enjoy... The movies that I enjoy, I enjoy a lot. Like, uh, that Willy's Wonderland thing. That was, that was fun. <laughs> For anyone that wants to know what that is. Um, Nicolas Cage meets Five Nights at Freddy's meets sequels because they're making more of them. Five nicks at Freddy's. Yeah, exactly. I just want the ammo. I don't want to carry any junk at the moment. No, thank you. This should be the room that was also what we got locked into, wasn't it? He, yes, he says absolutely nothing. The most he does is grunt. So he's just like, ah, and ah, and stuff, but that's the most he does. Maybe I need to find the room where... Really? Well, goes my theory on... But, random encounters. That was fast. It's actually a very fun film, but only if you go into it knowing what you're getting, and that's basically just... It's just for a fun time, guys. It's not like it's some serious, like, thought-provoking piece. Like, wow, that was so deep. It's like, no, no there's nothing deep about this. It was just horror schlock. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with, like, that type of, like, movie, right? Ugh. But it's just dumb fun. There's the animatronics, and then there's the dumb teens that get killed by them and then Nicolas Cage what more do you want what about over here okay we came from this way maybe I just have to use the elevator to like reverse the museum more I'm sure that we haven't explored the entire museum yet. Obviously. Because this place is... Ew. Gross. Ew. Ew. That door is gooey. It's a lot of snot. Yeah, dude. It's a lot of spilled lasagna. Garfield! Curse you! What? How could you, Garfield? Again. Oh, we're on the fourth floor. Okay. Hmm. Go back to the first floor. First floor or second floor? I think I wanted to go to the second floor, actually. We're gonna fight a Garfield now. 
Why do they call it oven when you go off and when you oven the cold food of out hot eat the what? Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food out of but when you oven the cold food of, of out hot eat the food? My brain hurts. I'm sure there's supposed to be a pun on like oven. That chair is big. Sorry, I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> CJ, thank you for that follow and welcome. I. That chair was uh, much too big for Professor Clamp. He does not have that much of a booty. Can I go in here? <gasps> okay. Your inventory is full. That's what you think. Replace something immediately. I got a tool. That's a me chair. Um, medicine. Oh, defense plus one. How's it going, CJ? Thank you for stopping by and for the follow. Welcome to our fun part of the internet. Where I run around and get lost. Masu, I understand what that was supposed to say, but it hurt my head so much I don't understand it, and I'm sorry. I am the dumb. Do you really understand it? I, I, I think I do. As much as I understand that joke about a pirate that has a, a steering wheel in his pants. When he's asked why it's there, he says, I don't know, but it's really driving me nuts. Arr. Just have to go somewhere around here. Maybe. Because I used the clamp key and the clamp key didn't do anything. The clamp key led me to nothing. Because I don't understand it and I've seen it on the internet for the better part of a decade. Something about. I don't know. I feel like it has to be a pun, right? <laughs> Maybe. Like that had to have been the intention or a play on words for oven. Cold. Cold and hot. Uh, what are some of the weirdest jokes? What's, or something that someone said is a joke and you try to understand it and you just cannot wrap your head around it. I think you're thinking about it a lot harder than the person who originally wrote it. Probably, dude. I don't know anymore. I'm looking for a dinosaur to punch in the face. I think that's what really matters here because in the end aren't we all just really trying to look for a dinosaur to get punched in the face maybe suplex it maybe perhaps wasn't I over here before so let me just check the camera again. She's on the fourth floor. Okay, so I was up on the fourth floor. So what the fuck? Bruh? Don't mess with me. I walked up to the gooey, gross door, and the game was just like, nah, bro, you can't come in this way. Maybe there has to be another way to get in there then, from the fourth floor, or from another floor. So she's on the fourth floor. Which I think we deduced when we saw that gooey mess mess thing. Like maybe if we go up from this staircase, then Oh shit. Enemies The only reason why it would take me a long time to find a way to finish this game 
I have become directionally challenged. I will never be able to... We're doing 69 damage a shot! Oh shit! Nice. Nice bullets. Bro. I also have 1,000 bullets. 780. Okay. So... Nice. Crits are doing too much damage though. Far too much. The funny faha number. We use the key. That looks like it's alive. I'm just saying. Like that that looks right there. That looks like it's about to attack me. Like straight up. Hate it when you're correct. side of it you know what this works actually because the contact damage is less than him hitting me ow what a bullet sponge full recover liberates mitochondrial control what the heck does that mean? Liberates mitochondrion control. Uses up all of my meter. Uh, let's try it out, I guess. Next chance we get. Bro, it just took me out. Liberate is really strong. I'll well, try it out and see what it does then. Oh, hey, we're with the T-Rex now, aren't we? Ooh. My body feels like it's going to burn up. Quick, open these boxes. Medicine 4. Thank you. There's more goo. Yo, it's there. What's up, T? I'm a dinosaur. Rawr. Badass. That's not a T-Rex. Hands are too big. It's adorable. It's what it is. Hey, boss fight time. You're so cute. Give you a little smooth. Alright. I can't use liberate because I, I need a little bit more energy Whoa. all right let's use liberate let's see what this does liberate will be used okay the heck uh okay that's definitely more damage than i normally do in a 
Yo, it's my limit break. Let's go. Yo, I used my LB. It was super effective. Bang, bang. Ah! This haste is still cheap. I think haste also gives me more PE faster too. Yo, I'm gonna liberate this dude again when I get a chance. Oh, he's been liberated. I feel like that pistol is gonna be better than mine. That M8000. Let's check it out. So ours is a 496010. What's that icon mean? 57, 58, 12. 58, 12. Yeah, it's better. Oh, just combine them, I guess. Combine them into one gun. Double command. Double command. Hey, yo. It sounds broken. You can do two commands at once. Just the parameters can be removed, but I can save the weapon. Yeah. Thank you for all the stats. Then I don't really care about keeping this, so I'm just gonna... Actually, no. Merk, merk, merk. I can pat my head and rub my tummy finally. The world is mine! Yeah, exactly. I can finally do two actions at once. You got Desiros. Yeah, we do, Mochi. Because you're here. Happy stream anniversary, boy. Now I fully like the weenie that I am, but... Bye, Cloudy. wonder where Cloudy's going. We will miss Cloudy. On this day. Sayonara, Cloudy. Visual representation of what happens after you eat White Castle. Or too much Taco Bell. No offense, I like Taco Bell, but ugh, does it just leave you with some nasty stomach pain? Be real here. Don't deny the pain of Taco Bell. Or, I guess, Chipotle. Can I go to the fourth floor now? Is the game going to deny me more? Let me go to the fourth floor! Um, let me save first because we spent a lot of time wandering around and I honestly do not remember how to get back there And then we can go to the fourth floor And yeah, Daniel and Mida are fine. They jumped out the building. They'll, they'll, they'll survive They're not on fire Or so we think And we have 621 health right now What? Do I have a bunch of bonus points still? I do have 775. Let's increase the damage of this. 92. And then I can increase my defense more. Wrong one. This one. There. Defensive parameters achieved, Captain. Nothing can kill us now. We're made of adamantium. Adamantium. Can I go in here now? No. I need to find some cleanings to wipe the, uh, wipe the snot with. 
You know, if that would actually be the solution to this, it would be very funny. If that is actually the reason why. Like, no, no, that's it. I just need to find, like, a mop. Or maybe the way that we had to go was... I don't think there's anywhere else I can go in here. I don't know. That doesn't seem like it. Plus we have to head up to the fourth floor. So let me head back to where I was before that Triceratops threw me out of the window. That's an exact cage. Oh, you found the Nicholas Cage clip? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> if only we still had that model, we could do it again. I think I do still have it actually. You have burst, putting it on your pistol will make it very powerful. Uh, what gives burst? Burst. Burst. I don't think I needed to come back in here. Well, White Castle, we discussed this. Go with the time, Zyros. Ow. Oh, right. I have two actions now. So I can decide what to do with both of my actions. I'm just like, yo, I'll just shoot my gun a ton. Yeah. Nothing can stop me now that I can shoot my gun. More than the game can comprehend. Use a gun. If that don't work, use more gun. And if that don't work, you best understand you still got gun. I don't think I can go up there. Usually find on shotguns. We need to find a shotgun then. If I need to put burst on a gun. This is what I was worried about. I don't know where that Triceratops room was. But I will find it again. Oh, yeah, so I can do haste and then shoot something. Yo, this is awesome. Combo actions, baby. Holy shit, this gun is good. Really are at end game, huh? I bet he's very Brachiosaur. Brachiosaur is right. I would know. Shaking me to my brachio core. Well, let's try going to the other side of the museum. Does anyone have any dinosaur puns or jokes? If the other end hurts. I guess he's got. I've got a brachio sore ass. And that counts as a dinosaur joke, doesn't it? You want to hit? Don't think you need it. I think I'm headed the right way. I think. Because there was a staircase on this side that I didn't get to go up. But we'll see. I swear if it's as simple as I just need to interact with this, I'm going to eat my shoes. I don't know why I shot that so randomly, but here we are. Call a blind dinosaur. What? What do you call a blind dinosaur? Do you think he saw us? <laughs> Let's go down the stairs. On this side. Because we haven't been in here. I don't remember being in this room. Hello there. Ow. The fact that I can shoot four times like that is just a little ridiculous. I like it.
What do you call a blind dinosaur's dog? Oof. What? Used clamp key. Do you think you saw us, Rex? Should have seen it coming, but it's still funny. We've been over on this side before. Let's go south now. Through this door, we'll head the other direction down south. Those are both from Jurassic Park. That's all I've got. I do not remember those. We once again use the clamp key. Oh. Trivia. 25 million years ago, oxygen increased in the air. Why? Photosynthesis by bacteria. Haley's Comet dropped the meteor. Reaction between gas and H2O. Oh, I made it mad. I'm, making, I'm just making it mad. I die know what to tell you. Hey! Let's go puns. Wait, have I gone this way before? What a I don't No? Oh, it's because of my inventory spell, probably. So the game's like, you can't carry whatever's in here. Like Jurassic Park, like but I watched it a lot. No, that's good. Oh wait, no, my inventory wasn't full. There's nothing, nothing to give me from that, I guess. Now let's head in this direction now. I have now circled backwards and have gone in a loop. So is there only one staircase entrance to the fourth floor then? This doesn't seem right. Definitely feel like I'm missing something. Jack, if you want to give me a hint now, I'm fine with accepting that because I'm just like, what the heck? You open up. I'm in. What if I go outside? I think I might have an idea. What? What? What, what do you guys think is the, the answer to what we have to do here? Taking all inquiries. If I have to poke Clamp's body, hack the game. That's the answer. Uh, we, we could try checking on Clamp really quick now that his body's turned into soot. Jump out the window. Danny and Maida jumped out. You land on one of them. Man, maybe they survived. Oh, he is very much just a fried person now. Maybe we need to find something four stories tall to climb up. I mean, we could go out the back. Entrance again. That T Rex is dead. Fourth floor. Need a very long ladder. Hey, Allie! How are you? Allie. I am currently trying to figure. I'm good. I'm trying to figure out how to get through this door. I'm sitting here just wondering. Maybe it, my idea is that there's another way to the fourth floor on the opposite end. We have to loop back through the other way. That, that's my thought process right now. Let's go back down to the first floor. Like that main exhibit, maybe there's an opposite side to it on the other end that I just didn't see. Through here. Hey, at least combat's easy as can be now. Nothing can fight me anymore without just exploding. Of 
Bro, did I really forget where the, the big dinosaur was? Never take me to this museum in real life. I will probably lose my mind. I'm just trying to figure out how to access the fourth floor from wherever the hell I am. What if I use liberate right now? What happens? Do I only attack one of them or am I just going to beat them all up? Also, it looks totally badass. Like it randomly picked everything, but they should all be dead. Yep. Level up. Eh. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way onto the fourth floor other than just from the elevator, which is what I've been doing. Because there has to be. Like an, uh, an, a way that I'm just not... Nope. So it is from that elevator. Triceratops room that should have a new spot. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, guys, are you ready to see if I can backtrack my way to the Triceratops room now? Adventure awaits! Huzzah! You gotta try, Ceratops. Owie. Bang, bang. That'll teach me not to change what I'm shooting. Stay in my attack range, please. Uh, quick question. How are we holding all of these bullets at this point? I have 891 shells. And I, I really just need to know. She's not going to open the door. We're trapped. We're trapped here forever. Doomed, I tell you. This is only the third floor. I'm happy that this music is so, so damn good. 
that keeps everything tense. It is good. I dig it. Okay, something in here changed. Da -da -da -dum. The last time I wait, the last time I didn't even get to go through this door, did I? I think I got stopped. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I never tried going back to that door again. Oh my god. Hi right, guys. <laughs> that was so silly of me. Wandering around, going everywhere, but now thinking back, hmm, I never actually got through that door. The Triceratops yeeted me out of the building, didn't he? Ew. Things are really gross on this side. to finishing though so we're still gonna be able to finish on time and get our game of marbles in don't worry marbles fans marbles will be happening still as i walk on this gooey floor quite gross in fact he was on the other side eve I really should have gone the other way, huh? Lovely. We're gonna be too late. Just in case anyone forgot, Cinder smells. Ten out of ten, truth. Oh, thank God we're safe, no nipples. I'm telling us to be quiet because the baby's sleeping. Hi, right, thank you for this lovely mustache. I very much appreciate it. It's very important to have one. No wonder you made it this far. Yeah, wouldn't I wouldn't have chat didn't tell me which that I forgot the fucking door existed. <laughs> hmm. So are you going to congratulate me on this birth? What are you planning to do, Eve? Hmm, perhaps you can help me answer that, Aya. Why do humans give birth? Hmm? Maya. To get a lifetime of debt. Oh my god. Am, am I about to have a boss battle with a a pregnant thing? I feel like we need sensor bars. <laughs> oh, they're turning into a creature. 
The gloop monster. Oh wow, they are turning into a creature. Look at that. It's got limbs. Oh, look at it. It's adorable and made of human cells. Well, not just human cells. Just, just cells in general. Oh, and it's going... Oh. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Maybe I should start shooting. Now, now would be a good time to shoot. Or not. It's the state of people slime, man. Where are the Ghostbusters when I need them? Oh, look, they made it. Hi, hey, guys. Are you okay, Aya? Aya. Daniel, Mida, you both made it out okay? Yeah, we barely made it through. Uh, we barely made it, though. Sorry. Did you see that ugly mama? That, that was everyone from Central Park. What? Then you're saying that Lorraine's a part of that thing, too? I'm sorry, Daniel. Ugh. That, yes, it has become apparent as to what medication Melissa had been taking. What was she on? She was being administered immunosuppressants. Immunosuppressants? For what? Why? Here's the story. Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. Transplant? Uh, what kind of transplant? Yes, it seems that she got one of your sister's kidneys after Maya died in an accident. A kidney transplant? So Melissa got Maya's kidney? Yeah. And that was the flashback we saw. Your mother and your sister were donors. What? Really? I never knew that. Your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident, so Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Eve. No, I'm sorry. The young Melissa. She had kidney failure. Then Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney? The intern that was present at the operation was, you guessed it, Clamp. Hans Clamp. Our main man, Clamp. Wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised and they all screamed that the kidney was hot. Yeah, that shit was hot. AF it was lit. But then, Eve is. Hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. You've killed the hot. Uh, the hot brain? Cyrus, what the hell? Even the host brain cultured the kidney and obtained her own physical body. Then that's what happened to Melissa. In her case, the immunosuppressant drugs served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant. A kidney transplant, to be exact, and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs. This is all so that Eve would have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg. In order to transplant organs, it is necessary for the HLA type to match. It lives symbiotically with other cells, so it's necessary to take immunosuppressants, control the immunity, and avoid rejection. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa fell, uh, felt her body change. But she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to a doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So in order to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs, and after taking so much, she was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body, and that's how she was transformed into Mitochondria Eve. So then, Maya is... Maya's the original Eve. In reality, it's Maya's Mitochondria. Uh... HLA should be pronounced as Hella. Yeah, I'll do that. You want to know the presence you exchange on mitochondria, Eve? I think it's a lot of, like, just... Blood. Roger. Commencing operation, sir. Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Don't be impudent, Lynch. It shouldn't have come to this. D yes, sir. Forgive me, Admiral. Calling all fighter jets. We have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. 
head for the Statue of Liberty. As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Team 2 will search and the, the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. This is going to go so well. So well. This really does give me Resident Evil vibes because it's like now they're sending in the army to take out the bio, like, bio-organic weapon. What? Are you sure? The Navy's made their move. What? We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the jets. My favorite thing in Monster movies is when the military thinks they can li do literally anything and they do absolutely nothing. Anyone has that success Hey, could you imagine how anti-climatic a movie would be if it was like, all right, send in the military. And then everything just goes according to plan. It's like, all right, well, pack it in, everyone. We're good. And yeah, they just piss off the threat. This is going to go so well. This is like when uh, in Final Fantasy VII with the weapon and Midgar. No, Lorraine. Lorraine can't be a part of that thing. The huge creature. Or no, those cells. That must be where Eve's giving birth. She's giving birth? Yes, the huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. Creature. Oh, and there they go. All right. Well, that was instant. And those people are dead. There go the jets. And the rockets just said no. And they're gone. And there goes another helicopter. Not gonna lie, the explosions and everything and the particle effects look actually pretty damn cool. Lorraine! Ah, the helicopter's Much coming! Like the careers of the New York Jets. Oh god, Scalaris. <laughs> Everyone duck! Cover your heads and... Hello, we're here to take Aya with us. That guy looks like he shit his pants. Officer Brea of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it is my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Accompany her? To the what? Dude, a dude's arm flies in a frame from the explosion. <laughs> Uh, we wait now because ad break. Motherfucker, did you see what happened to every other aircraft in the skies? I'm not flying anywhere. I mean, wouldn't you crap yourself seeing other helicopters explode by a giant goop monster? Oh yeah, I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm just saying that dude looked like he shit his pants. At least they know how to get the one person who can fix the damn problem. Yeah, when they said that they were looking, like the one helicopter is going to be on search for plan two. I was like, they mean Aya, don't they? Because they have to be in contact with the NYPD, or at least something, or at least have some idea of what's going on. So do you guys like how wrinkly this guy's face looks? I think it's the captain. Looks look wrinkly. Strangely not seeing ads today. I'm getting ad break messages, so I'm just being safe. Welcome aboard the Navy's pride and joy, the Nimitz. I'm Williams. I command the ship. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Hey, you better not put Aya in danger here. You, who do you think you are talking to the Admiral that way? It's quite all right, Lynch. After all, he is right. What? Uh, what do you mean? You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get in our chopper and nuke the creature. Hold on. I can't fly a helicopter. Not to worry. Chopper's been set to auto. 
She won't have any problems. Is it so she just needs to fire from a distance where she can't be ignited? Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at close range in order to work. We cannot move in that close since we will be ignited. Well... I'll do it. Damn, I was a boss. I was fast. She's just like, yep, we gotta do it. I, uh, no way. You're not going up there. Our fate lies in your hands, Aya. Okay, Daniel. That thing, that's not Lorraine. Do it for Lorraine too, Aya. Wait, Aya, please take this. Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. Yes, of course. Uh, Aya, please be careful up there, okay? Of course. I'll be fine. But what if that was actually handy? Like, we needed that. What if it was like a gun? Like another gun. To give us that one, like, one damage gun. And it gives us another gun. Because it's like, sorry, the other gun was so weak. Maya. Did I lose my jacket? I want my jacket back. What if it was like e Evo showing up with an RPG? Yeah, or Evo. <laughs> also, holy shit, we are going fast. Whee! Hey guys, can helicopters go this fast? Want know how to get the rocket launcher? Helicopters can be fast, but not this nimble. Yeah, I thought that like to be that fast, they have to be moving like forward in just one direction for a long time. This should far end at this point. That's oh, okay. I, I'm going with my little pistol. I love it. The creature is within view. Switch to formation two. It would have hurt the first building if they were going that speed. Yeah. What? What's happening here? In the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We're positioned this way for a reason. What do you mean? I don't think you'd... I don't think you'd go get the launcher at this point. Oh. Gotcha. Bait. Yep, they're going in as bait. We will act as your shield so that you will live to attack the creature. What? No! I'm not doing this without your... God damn, son. We're entering firing range. Prepare to attack. All right. Please move away from me. Now. We cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we are already within range. No. Johnson. It was only two days from retirement. Oh, they got the goop on me. This is insane. Since Christmas Eve, I put a curse on my own body. Why me? Why is this happening to me? I, I don't understand. But I don't care anymore. Because Eve, I'm the one that can destroy you once and for all. Maya, I'll end this and let you rest peacefully. No, Mike. He knew a good bar. Fuck. Poor, poor Mike. I'll never forget him. I know a good bar. Oh, shit. Guys, there's something on my screen here. Let me just wipe it out really quick. Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Starts the Phoenix Wright music again. Oh, great. Statue of Liberty is crying again. No, don't destroy that. Hey, 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 put that down. Okay, I didn't mean like that but well shit ah, time to contact France and ask them to re remake that for us we did it well done that was magnificent return to base Sire. no it's not over yet
It is definitely not over yet. What the heck am I looking at? Oh, that's that's wonderful. She's the, the the mother of goop now, the goop mother, if you would. Ah, come back now. It is too dangerous to continue. Return to base at once. We will plan. But will you save your progress? Oh shit! Are you sure? Will you say it? Still save? Yes. Bro, this is like a point of no return save. Would it be wrong for me to say would? No. Yes, Aya, please. I need to give you. Give, give us what? Forget it. She signed off already. This is bad. Oh, shit. With just my pistol, I'm gonna take this bitch out. Oh shit, son. Where was he storing that rocket launcher? Ew. This place is gross. I have some bonus points. Let's spend them on stuff. Like, what if, what if I just dump more stuff into this? Just blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. More points. I have my rockets. Got my ammo. Got all my, my healing. Got some junk. I'm gonna throw away this junk. Get out of here, junk. I'm walking in what is essentially just people. Keep that in mind. So it was you. Hello, it's me. Maya. Huh. That must be the name of my host. Let me guess. Your sister? You have the ability to evolve. Why take the side of a doomed species? Humans aren't doomed. If my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, I'll evolve to get rid of you. Oh shit, son. <laughs> Love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill? Humans kill other creatures and they even kill their own kind. We have our reasons, and you sure are a good enough reason for us to kill. Oh, shit. <laughs> All organisms have something called a territory. This territory is guarded from natural enemies. But until now, humans had no such natural enemy. Could you imagine if Cinder was still on this call with me? That is what has allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think of your prosperity as Tell history. Me, for whom do you fight? But you're wrong. How glib. We mitochondria have lived within the human being and have allowed you to prosper. What? <laughs> we mitochondria have made you create the perfect environment for us. Humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with innate physical abilities. Can't you see that? It's the perfect scenario. What? Then you're saying that... Humans were kept alive for the mitochondria's sake? Huh. You humans just served as transportation vehicles for us. What do you mean? Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would become free again. Mitochondria, mitochondria, mitochondria. <laughs> but you see, the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. From now on, the mitochondria will become human and beings and will rule this earth. But are you still pregnant? Or... Or what? Oh, it's boss time. Oh god. Look, I, I was... I was busy. Hold on. Be nice. I, I was busy. Oh, I can shoot the tum-tum. Oh, there's three targets here. Okay. I shoot that one. Bang. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Boom. 
Come down. I don't do that again. It doesn't really matter which part of this I pick. Yeah, get him, Aya. Oh shit! She's doing flips and shit. We are. Don't get Akmorned. Never get Akmorned, bro. Never a good idea. Let's use some medicine. And then uh, just take a shoot if we can. Ow, I walked into that. I'm smart. Uh, heal ourselves again. Pew pewing a god. Pew 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 pew. Bang bang bang. Or what's something that thinks it's a god? Dang it, it moved away. I think I beat one of the parts. Oh, let me down. Oh. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. Can't haste again. I have to wait. Uh, this is one of the medicine threes. Oh, I just see the tag cinder smells. That tag has been there for... Uh, how long has it been now? Ow, ow. Really though, how long has that tag been there? I'm trying to think about that. Uh, it's been a couple months at least, I think. Yeah, that's just been a while. There's only two targets that I can hit now. Owie. Got one target left. Oh, put me down. Stop doing that where you lower my health to one and also get rid of all my buffs. I do not appreciate that at all. Whoa. It's okay, we have the revive. We'll get back up. We get knocked down, but we get up again. You ain't ever gonna keep me down. <laughs> I'll give you points for trying, but enough of this nonsense. Watch and learn what evolution really means. It means just floating away as I don't shoot you. Oh, you changed again. Second phase? Oh, second phase. Did you evolve too? Bitch. Oh, bro, not cool. Don't try to swipe at me. Swipe or no swiping. 
Uh, ow. What the heck was that about? Get by waterfall. Ah! I definitely don't. Ow. But you poisoned me. Yeah, that's a high hitting poison, too. Oh, shit. It's called the nuke, and you were coincidentally in the safest, the safe spot to dodge it. Thank goodness. So Destro, thank you for that resub for 31 months in a row and 36 months in total, man. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, we're going to wait a second. I just need a little bit more energy so I can do that. Then sure, try to shoot her, I guess. Bang, bang. Can I help you? Ow. Well, that wasn't very nice. I can't move. keep avoiding that because it looks like it'd be very painful and probably just instantly kill me stop trying to slow me down yes hello i i don't understand N no you can't be our natural enemy no no And there we go. Returning to the goo. Oh, her face is just gooing. So much goo. Huh. And that's why you should always be careful. No, there was an ad break. I couldn't do anything about that one. Shit. There must have been some mitochondria in that ad break. I like how they make the Statue of Liberty still look like it's crying. So it's a good touch. You maniacs! You blew it up! You blew up it all! Blah, 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 blah. I can't quote it for some reason. Thank you for the past, Mochi. It underwent a different type of evolution. Think about it, Eve. She can't think about it. She's a... Gone. Or is she? Day six. Liberation. Guys, we did it. We saved the world. This is it. It's liberation time. All right, everyone, kick back, relax. World saved. We have nothing to worry about now. Everyone, uh, shake hands. Good job, everyone. Pat yourselves on the back, guys. We're going to have a final boss, not the end of the game, but cool fight. Exactly. Cool fight. You know. Feels like that was, that was felt final to me. Game's over. Aya, come on. 
Oh yeah, what's wrong? Ha! You were great, Aya. Shows that my, only my partner can pull it off, eh? Yes, Aya, I'm relieved that you made it back safely. How the hell did Eve have to bring all this to the Statue of Liberty? Because of the ocean and what it symbolizes. The sea is the mother of all creation. This is where she wanted to give birth. I smell like Elsie Ellen Sonia. If you don't mind, I'd like to have some time to myself. Right, okay. Everyone else has been guided inside, miss. What about Maida? Maida, didn't you have something to give me? What was it? Are we gonna have a Titanic moment? No? Okay, never mind. I guess we're going inside. Yeah, what happened to that whole birth thing? Because it feels like nothing came of that, and I feel like it sh still should. Possibly. No need for this anymore. You take it. Keep it as a souvenir, huh? N yes. Thank you. Aha. Aya, uh, Wayne came all the way from the precinct to see you. Yo, Aya. Uh, I'll be outside. The smell of oil makes me, um, rather queasy. I knew it. I knew you could do it. When I heard that you blew that thing to bits, I had to come over here. Everyone's saying that you're the number one cop in New York right now. Hey, what's wrong? You killed that thing. Aren't you happy? I guess you're in shock or something, huh? Yeah, you're probably tired too. I'll take the things that are in your, your way. So you rest up now. You hear? Old equipment. Yeah, sure. Here, I got some equipment to actually give you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't really need the rocket case. So I have no rockets. Maybe not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do it. You can take this. I ain't gonna need that. Uh. This is what I have on. I'm gonna keep that. I don't need this. I don't need this. I would like some items though, because we could use some some of this stuff. And just because we can, let's take the other good luck charms. Good thing we got medicine for all this. We got a shotgun with burst on it. No, no shotguns for us. Hey, the souvenir for blowing Eve away. I'll engrave your name on any weapon. She's a weapon in armor. Oh, I can only put like a few letters. I wanted to put stinky. Wait, no, here, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm mature. Protector. Great being on this cruiser, eh? Gotta tell my mom about this. You are not mature at all. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so funny. Look at me. <laughs> Time to bonk you. Look, I can only change three letters, and I'm just like, what can I do with 8,000?
using 8008 at the jumbo cackpot got me second place or second prize see look at that just goes to show you i render rate the power of 8008 well done i received some supplies from admiral williams please make use of whatever items you need uh i would like that please thank you yes what else uh more medicine you don't have any more okay well i'll take those Maybe I want the other... Okay, that was a lot. Um, do I need any more? No, I'm good. See ya. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye, everyone. I have a way to cure all diseases from my body, so I'm good. Some Christmas, huh? I mean, it's been six days. Tell me about it. But did you save? Yep, yeah, we did. Thankfully. Sorry we're late. We could not approach the creature without absolute confirmation of its death. Your help was greatly appreciated. Please rest inside. As citizens of the United States... Oh! What's going on? What is it? You're scaring me. That huge creature that the mitochondria was creating was... Oh, you know, we saw in the opening that the uh, boats explode, so maybe everyone needs to get off the boat. It couldn't have been the uterus for the ultimate being. No! Aw, oh, shit, son. Oh, great. Baby. Yep, oh, there it is. It's, oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. There they go. Conveniently, our boat is intact. Great. Oh, great. What the hell is that? You've got to be kidding. That is the ultimate being. We didn't make it in time. What are these explosions? The mitochondrial energy must be out of control. The point where it is causing those explosions. Yeah, where is Ima? Ima missed the baby. It was she was no longer pregnant. Yeah, I was like, not pregnant, but baby has to be somewhere, right? We will escape by helicopter. Please follow me. Because all we can do for now is run. Aya, come on. Aya, what's wrong? Oh, I'm beating the shit out of that thing. I, I have to take care of this. Aya, no. Aya, yes. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. Please hurry. Shut up, man. Aya, please take... Cut it out with the voodoo stuff already, huh? We can't be wasting time. No, Daniel, please. This is different. It's not the voodoo stuff. Hurry, please. You two should go now. Aya, you're coming back no matter what, you hear? I think he really wants to give us something that's important, though. Like you can tell if someone's gonna, like... I'm gonna have something tossed at me that's gonna have to be used to defeat this thing. Baby. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. It's you or me. Who's gonna be the one to make it through? The baby is hungry. That's the question. Baby. Be gone, foul wing spawn of Satan. Pretty much. Ah, can't keep up with me now, can you? Because I'm so fast. Oh, never mind.
He's not really doing much. That worries me. That couldn't have been it. That was way too easy. Liberate, baby. Oh. Oh, you've, you've grown. Is, is it growing? What's happening? Uh, definitely growing. Oh shit, the music is kicking up. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, that's fine. Music's really getting into it now. Help you being I do Oh no, it's learning as it fights. Stop learning. Go away. Did that movie? That movie? Alive? Yeah. Call that an attack? Let me hit you with these 69s. Oh, okay. Or you can hit me with 82s and shit. Ow, that was much more painful. Don't do that. Oh, it has two attacks. Or att attack spots. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, run the other way. Ow. Ow. Slagra and Gaiban. I feel like I want to take out that one first. I'm uh. firing my laser. Oh. Okay, the attacks are definitely improving. Does anyone else like the music during this part? I think it sounds really cool. I just feel like I've heard this song before, though. Bust out the liberate. You by chance playing Final Fantasy Brave XPS recently? No. Why? I, I think someone put this on once during music requests. But I, I, I recognize the this like the tempo of the song and everything. I feel like someone had to have put this on during uh, when I was like, I need music to listen to for like boss battles and stuff. Someone put this on. Okay, one part's gone. So that'll make this significantly easier. Oh god. Uh, heal. Slightly easier, is what I should say. Not significantly. We're gonna get hit in a second. Can I scan you? They had a collab with Parasite Even. This was one of the tracks, final boss during the crossover event. Oh, that's cool. I don't know which way that's gonna go, but let's do this really quick. Let's save energy shot. Sure. Use whatever energy we have to just make a shot. Take the shot, Io! 111, not bad. Ow. Then I forgot that you know it stuns me so I can't move. In hindsight, that was a bad idea. Is it laughing? What's that noise it's making? That thing does not look dead. Holy shit, he got buff. Oh, there it is. Yep. I recognize this. Someone was definitely playing this for music requests. This... This is the mature being? Ow. 
Uh, high tyrant is right. Hello, tyrant. Has Mewtwo been pumping iron? Yes. Get rid of my buff. Meanie. It no longer requires upbeats. It can do it itself. Hello, no. Please don't slap me. What did you say about slapping me? I, for one, do not appreciate that. Slow you. Yeah, I would really like that rocket launcher right about now. Uh, what the? Okay. Missing a few shots. Witness Ultima. I don't want to witness Ultima. Get away from me. Just stay over there. Ow. He hit me with his orb. That's a shit again. Stop lowering my health by half. Really don't appreciate that. Orbs. Run. Ow. Dang, two of those orbs hit me. more orbs we need to heal where's all hp keep that shooting the gun. No, wait. 
Is it still evolving? Or is it just turning into chaos now? One damage? Ow. That's definitely not good. We are in trouble? Yes? I'd say we're in trouble. Definitely rocket time. I agree. Keep moving. Haha, take that. I dealt damage to you. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. You dealt damage to me too. I get it. I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born, but I want to live too, like all other human beings. Damn, there's no end to this. If only we could get this to Aya. What are those? They're bullets with Aya's cells in them. So that's what you were trying to give her. But I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. Stupid! Give it to me! Uh, Daniel, what are you doing? Meanwhile, I, uh, in Spain. Holy shit! Yeah, screw giving someone a rocket launcher. Dude's just gonna throw us the clip. What a boss! <laughs> This doesn't make any sense and I don't care. It's badass. You know, maybe he's okay. He landed in the water. I'm a boss. Yeah, dude, that is so fucking cool. I mean, you missed the baby form. Daniel, this is for Maida? What a boss. Please, please don't immediately shoot me. I need to at least heal a little bit. Thank you. Hey, you missed the baby form. Wait. Oh, am I using Midas gun now? Trust the Mida touch. This pumpkin. Man. Bang, bang. Oh, get wrecked. Come here. Hey, don't move away from me. Get back here. Actually, it doesn't even matter where I shoot you from. I'm gonna fuck you up. Get back here. Yeah, how's it feel, huh? <laughs> what? What you gonna do about it, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Get on my level. Now it's just dancing. Just dance. Gonna be okay. That doo doo. Uh, it's not a rocket launcher, but the delivery for it was made up for it not being a rocket launcher. Like 110%. I was so badass. Daniel! Um, I, it's still alive. At least partially. Oh my god. There's gotta be something on this cruiser to get rid of this. I'm gonna go. Final boss of 93 phases. Feels like it. Dude, this feels, um, tense. The engine room. Quick save. Malfunction. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. Way too tense is right. Holy shit, that was close. Keep moving. Not enough lasers. More lasers. 
<laughs> he wants to kill it before it becomes pork lift certified. Agreed. Dude, it's getting... Holy shit, listen to the music, guys. If only Aya would run faster. She moves like molasses. See a red dot? Do the thing. I can blow the ship to bits. You know where we are? We're in Hell's Kitchen. Where's Gordon Ramsay? It's wrong. Fucking donkey. He doesn't appreciate that. starting to like fly get away 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 shoot 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 get out get out get away from me holy shit i don't want to think about what would happen if that thing touched me do it did we did we save the universe from mitochondria mike it's finally over uh i don't understand why do i have this power it's because maya is inside of you too aya what? When your mother and your sister died, they transplanted a part of your sister into you. Into me? Yeah. And when you were seven, you probably don't remember any of it, but you were born with a defect in your right eye. So Maya's cornea was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? Then what I saw when I touched Eve was... It said that when you have an extreme experience... What you see then is branded onto the cornea, but this hasn't been scientifically proven. That was Maya's last memory? That was the last thing she ever saw? As for the mitochondria that was in Aya's body, I think it underwent a different evolutionary change than Eve by living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria. They still possessed Eve's power. From there it evolved to the point where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Making you the ultimate life form, Aya. Me and Maya are mitochondrial power. Starting with the incident in Japan and now with this, I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. Message? What kind of message? How can I explain? If the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invade the Earth become like viruses out of control. We in essence are upsetting the natural balances of the body. This is definitely utter destruction. No, we're, we're not that weak. You see, humans are, in essence, parasites. You can say that we are parasites and the world is our host. Look, the sun's coming up. Man, what a crazy Christmas Eve. Been one day. Not six, just one. We did it, guys. We saved the universe. 
Done. She looks a lot like Cloud. I jumped out of a helicopter, got set on fire with magic, and survived impacting the water. I ain't weak. He definitely isn't if he survived that. Holy shit. That that ending was badass. Oh, hey, Ben. Come on, Aya. Here, take my hand. Thank you, Ben. Oh, we're going back to see uh, an opera again? That, that only ended well the first time. Yeah, and he had an accurate throw. That was impressive. Ah, I'm not too good with these social events. Nah, not me. I love these things. We have to make up for Christmas Eve. Oh, hi, Maida. This is my first time, so I'm... I'm nervous. That's because you're with Aya and she's all dressed up and pretty. What? No, no, that's not it at all. Starting, shall we? Everything will be A-OK, -okay, guys. Nothing bad can ever happen. Hmm, yes, Daniel and Ben are late, aren't they? Weren't they just with us? They better hurry. It's going to start any minute now. Uh, the restroom must be really crowded. Yes, that's probably it. Uh, what's wrong? You seem tense. Uh, um, yes, of course. What? Oh, uh, well, since I'm going back to Japan tomorrow, I... Uh... Move, Maida. Yeah, all right. Made it on time. I'm sitting next to Aya. Sorry, we're late. <laughs> Defeated. All right, guys, let's just enjoy a normal opera performance where nothing bad could possibly happen again. Hey, they got they got someone to replace someone that who looks exactly like the old actor. Wow, that's actually surprising. Father, please give me permission to marry Eva. Oh, my Eva. I forbid it again. You know, well, what will happen if you do... Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You do not understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Grab, grab her. Burn her at the stake. Laugh track ensues as they all jump up. It's like, oh no, it's fine guys. Father, if you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward, I'm a good actor. Audience back home, would you mind sitting down? Sorry. Get with it, guys. Laugh track. There we go. Ha ha ha. <laughs> There's the laugh track. Okay, well, everyone hasn't burst into flames this time. Except her eyes look a little purple. A little spooky. Ha ha, you guys are paranoid because you win it. There's the laugh track. Perfect. <laughs> the 
what? Oh, shit. What is going on? Oh, uh oh. What's happening here? Yo, what the? Oh. Uh. Second game stinger? Are you telling me that everyone still has the cells? Oh shit, son. They've all still got the mitochondria is ready to rise up at any moment and blow up everybody with Eve. That is spooky. Oh. Goosebumps. What would have happened to me at the end if that thing touched me? So that was Parasite Eve 1. Um, we can all agree. Holy shit, that was amazing. Dead? Oh, so you just die if it touches you. So when I went to go touch the phone, and it... <laughs> and then I tried opening the door, I was like seconds from death. Not even. It was like... It was point... Main character design, Tetsuya Nomura. That was bait. Yeah, it almost killed me. Congratulations, you finished half the game. <gasps> Is there a new game plus? You gonna do the true boss? Cyrus, you were always seconds away from death. You were 0.5 seconds from death. Huh. So what, what do I have to do to fight this true boss? Is there like a new game plus area that I have to go through? Not with the other half. Yeah, just tell me. Oh boy. Do I have to like play the game again pretty much? Go ahead. Lay it on me guys. Lay it on me thick. Tell me. Tell me what I have to do. And how much of it do I need to stream? Time to collect every weapon and then max them out just like in Dragon Guard. <gasps> okay, that might be a little excessive. Uh, I don't. I think I don't need to do that. But uh, time for Chrysler Tower. Merry Chrysler, everyone. Merry Chrysler. So, what is Chrysler Tower like? This was a very fun game. Remember the windows in the hospital? Yes. Oh, that was the Chrysler building? So that's what that was. Can I pause this? I can't. Well, so that was fun. It was a very good game. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. I'm glad that when I put up a poll asking what people wanted me to play, this is what ended up winning, because, like I said, I never played it before, and I was just like, okay, let's just put on some games. Because while I had a bunch of horror games picked out for uh, October, I felt like I needed more. Turns out I didn't, because we didn't get to, you know, finish them, but we're still going to finish all of them slowly. So it's Parasite Eve 2. So what we can do, if we're going to do Parasite Eve 2, uh, I can, I can look into doing the other half of this and see what it entails. Uh, we finish that and then we can start Parasite Eve 2, but I want to finish the other games that we have still to do. So, yeah. Let me finish the other horror games first, and then we can get to Parasite Eve 2. Sound good? Everybody? Can we, can we agree to that? Let me get through everything that we have for horror games right now, and then we do Parasite Eve 2. But still on tap. We have Fatal Frame 2. Hold on, let me let me bust out the list. I agree to nothing. Oh shit. That's dangerous. Let me look really quick. What's left on our list? So we have System Shock Remake. Prison Evil Zero. Oh, but I'm running with mods. Fatal Frame 2, Sound Hill 4, Haunting Ground. And then after that. I think that was it. So just five more games. Yeah, it's just those five games for horror. For the horror segments that we're doing. Favorite Frame 2 is good and scary. One of the only games I've ever gotten jump scared so badly that I fumbled with my controller. That was me with Fatal Frame 1. I was in the middle of taking a picture of a, one of the ghosts. And because it freaked me out so bad, I actually just threw my controller on the ground after I paused the game and went, Nah, I'm done. <laughs> I had to walk away. I came back and finished playing, but I had to stop for a second because it actually scared me so much. 
Honestly, from the clips I've caught of the playthrough, I want to go listen to the soundtrack for this game more. Bro, the music is so good. So good. Also, thank you again for joining me earlier today, Cinder. It was a lot of fun. I'm sorry that you didn't play most of those games beforehand. Like, for me, playing Super Nintendo games, that was what I grew up with. So, yeah, I was it, but yeah, it was, it was fun. Thanks for joining. And the, ah, uh, the blind woman. My eyes! Never doubt the power of the shotgun and what was that one game, the cowboy game we were playing. I think the funniest part of that for me, Junichi! I saw someone with the name Junichi. But the, the funniest part of all the stuff that we did today was the one thing where I was like, we just trying to get through Donkey Kong Country. And literally there was just one enemy in the way and I'm like, all right, Cinder, all you need to do is just pass by this one guy. There's the exit. Cinder died. There was a Mochi. So Mochi helped make this game. Good job, Mochi. Mochi, what was it like working on this game? Donkey Kong Country was a mess to us the entire playthrough. It was. Every time it came up, it just killed us. We didn't even get to the first boss. Um, so games that we have to play... Hold on. Okay. All right. So this week is going to be a little light. This is why I kind of wanted to do like a bunch of stuff Saturday and Sunday. This weekend because we have Super Mario RPG coming out, but I am working all day Friday. Uh, and we also have a movie night going on, but I'm going to still play at least the very beginning of Super Mario RPG just so I can see what it looks like since that comes out on Friday. So I'll just play like a little bit of it, maybe like an hour or two. Because we start mo the movie night at nine, I get off of work at six, so I can do like a couple hours of that. A Wednesday, I'm going to probably only play Guild Wars 2. Thursday, I'm not going to have much time to do much. And then, same with Monday and Tuesday. So, yeah. Sunday, I'll still be able to stream a lot. And Saturday, no. Saturday is a, a huge mess of a, a day for me. Well, I'll post the schedule, but yeah, tomorrow, no streaming. But we're not done yet anyway, we still have to play marbles after this, because remember, marbles is important. Our marble portion of the stream is now affecting our giveaways at the end of the month. I'm accumulating points from all the, uh, all the scores from marbles to determine who our marble champion is for the month, and they win a prize. So if you're here at the end of a stream, hey, you get entered in the marble thing, you win, you get some points. Fill up some credit. Another Janichi shows up in the credits. Wonder three times tonight. Just one tonight. Because I am a tired boy. I need to eat and I've been streaming now for seven hours straight pretty much. This lad doesn't really take breaks when I stream. It's bad. I need to start taking at least one if I stream this long. There we go. Game over. Is it gonna let me save now? There's like a new game plus. Lower. Ah. That was the jump scare. EX round two. Sounds scary. And then we have it. Insert disc one. The end of Parasite Eve. Alright. Time to change.